Nature. Abstract. What we see or what we think we see. The three figures have the same height. Our intuition tells us that distant things have to conform to the perspective. Probably our perception feels it's normal, but it is an error of calculation in our minds. Take a look and make an effort to see the figures at the same height. Intuition. Do we see things like they are, or do we shape things in our minds as we want to see them? We normally complete the forms in our minds. That suggests that we need to choose quick solutions and carry on reasoning about the massive diversity of subjects existing in our minds. It is a kind of distortion in our vision of the outside world that inevitably blocks us from being aware of the real picture. Awareness. Do we deceive ourselves or does the outside world make us see things incorrectly? The speed of our minds doesn't allow us to completely control our perception. We tend to react in a split second trying to define one conclusive form. That non-stop process makes us incorrectly define what we see in the external world. Control. Is it possible to perceive the outside world, or are our perceptions still incomplete? The way we use logic makes us preconceive complex forms. We expect to see things in a way that conforms to our previous knowledge, and so we get eluded. This form of preconception makes us mistake what we see. Illusion. Is the reality bizarre, or are our perceptions misleading us? Although we are informed about our incorrect vision, we can't correct our perceptions in order to see the real picture. This forces us to end up accepting wrong conceptions. Information. Is it possible to force everybody to see the outside world exactly the same way? Or should we put a stop to the endless quarrels? We begin to calibrate our perceptions when we are small children, seeing some things in distorted ways. Inside our minds, our vision about the outside world end up translated in funny ways. We can imagine that fears, hopes, and many other feelings are sometimes incorrectly perceived by an individual. So we may mistake the outside world. Unfortunately, we have to accept the limitations of our perception of the real world and try to be less aggressive about it. Hope. A paradigm shift. Of course, we cannot disregard completely our personal experiences and the social systems that we have developed. After all, claiming that it is impossible to fully understand what happens to our minds in the outside world does not mean that humans should not answer for their actions, nor justify disclaimers or liability that is needed for common sense. I tried to develop this leaflet because it draws my attention to the fact that just based in our minds and eccentric opinions, we lose endless time in useless discussions trying to be convincing about what is reality, and thereby provoking enormous social woes, and beyond that, destroying without the slightest judgment the nature of the planet. You could notice, by looking at examples I used, 
that there is a total inability to assert that we are able to appoint someone who has the complete ability to ensure what is reality. In the final case, perhaps the only thing we can be sure of is that we cannot know the reason why things exist as they are. Now to tamper with them or destroy them completely before we get to understand what they are about cannot be the correct solution. Maybe we should leave nature to do what it has been doing for billions of years without some of our radical interference. Nature will thank us. But, are you prepared to face something scary? We have the power to create a big DNA mess. Audacity? Naivety?